How do you see the other quarterback positions shaking out as we work our way down the draft? Yeah, it's really interesting because whoever the Browns take at number one um, also sets off a domino effect, right? I mean, if Darnold's on the board when Giants pick number two, I think they would consider him. But if he's gone, I think they go with Barkley or Chubb. Um, but, you know, for, for the Jets at number three, they're going to take a quarterback. If Darnold's there, they would take him. If not, I think Baker Mayfield makes a ton of sense. Um, so, you know, I, I think if you talk to a Valley resident in the league, it's interesting. You know, there's been this top four Darnold, Allen, Mayfield, Rosen. The more I talk to people, it sounds like the top three right now are, are more so Darnold, Allen, and Mayfield. Um, and then from there, you know, it's, it's Rosen and Lamar Jackson. What's interesting is there haven't been five quarterbacks drafted since 1999, and it looks like that will be – there will be five drafted this year, and possibly six. Someone like Mason Rudolph could also slip up into the first round. So there's going to be a run on quarterbacks in the first round, a combination of teams having need and also sort of the urgency of the position. I think the question for a lot of evaluators is, are any of them really that elite level and, you know, Sean Payton told Peter King, there's no whence or luck in this class. So there's going to be a run on quarterbacks. But the question is, is the top as good as the top in years past?